What's up? What you do? What you do? What it is? <laughs> I'm telling you guys, in another life, I must have been like a Broadway singer or something like that, you know? <laughs> Hi guys, and welcome back to today's video. So as you can tell from the title of the video, in today's video, we're doing everything based, okay? B -b 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 based, okay? And uh, I already did my eyebrows, just the sculpting. Um, and I want to take you through everything that I do. Um, I have already moisturized and for moisturizer, let me get in there. <laughs> for moisturizer, I use this. This is a skin therapy oil, um, Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula. I love it because it really helps me with um, an even, an evenness and, you know, dark spots and all of that. So in today's video, I'd like to first give a shout out to the sponsor of the video who is Vitafarm Cosmetics and Pharmacy. Guys, I want you to know that every time that um, I put you on products, regardless of whether it's sponsored or not, it's personally something that I have used and I have liked and I don't really tend to endorse products that I haven't used unless it's like, you know, something but yeah generally especially in com when it comes to makeup i always make sure that i've used them and i actually like them before i give you guys a review on how good or how bad i thought it was so without talking too much let us get into this video and also <laughs> i know my background is really busy but um i really don't know where because i've just been trying to figure out like my 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 space where i can be able to film and just have like, like a background but it's really just been a bit crazy so for now i'm filming in front of um, a window for that natural light and also i'm using a, a, a ring light just so you guys can you know get to see me clearly clearly so don't worry about the background okay we're gonna do something about it soon so everything that i'm gonna be using in this video is from Vita farm cosmetics and they mostly deal in illegal products which I love. Who doesn't love LA? Like, especially starting out. We all know, especially if you're a makeup artist, when you're starting out, even even right now, I'm, I'm like right now I've been in the game for a couple of years and I still have illegal <laughs> concealers, staples in my kit. So first of all, we're going to start off with our eyebrows. I'm going to be using the um, illegal Pro Conceal in the shade Fawn. And that's usually like my color. So I'm going to use that uh, for the beginning part of my eyebrow and then for the like the brow bone I'm gonna be using cool tan because it's slightly lighter and I do want to give that little part some more definition and yeah just make it look a little more lifted and for my eyebrows I did end up using Davis uh, pencil in number three uh it is a bit darker on me but i did use just a spoolie and i combed everything out so it doesn't look as harsh so again um today i'm not using a brush i'm going to show you how to use the tip the direct tip and i wouldn't really recommend this if you're doing it on a client but if the product is theirs then okay but for hygiene purposes i usually just stick to this either doing it on myself if i'm doing it on a client i always use a brush but i want to show you how you can use the tip or the brush that comes with it to actually clean your eyebrow so i'm taking a little bit the back of my hand and then let's clean this up Okay, so I finished blending out my uh, my concealer and then I went off camera and did this eye. And today's failure is LA Gala's after party. It actually has how many? 20, 20 colors. And it's a pretty beautiful um, matte, not matte, nude 
eyeshadow palette because you can see it has the transitions and it has the shimmers and it's not like too much it's just you know like hey we here but we're not here you know what i'm saying <laughs> so i want to show you how i did this look on this other eye i'm starting off with this shade over here um this one the darkest one it's like a dark red and then i'm just using a fluffy brush to pick up the product and then apply it to the outer edge of my eye but you can see my eyeshadow already creased so i'm gonna make sure that that is all nice and blended out and you know because this video is essentially a base um, or a foundation look i'm just gonna skim through the eye and just focus on the face more so and then i am going to come back um, in another video and then show you guys um tips and tricks in terms of eyeshadow and how to make your eyeshadow pop and look flawless and all the good stuff okay so i'm just gonna do like a, a little time lapse and speed this through so i can show you guys how i'm gonna use it um for the liner here you see like the little shimmer liner i'm gonna be using this this is the la colors chrome liquid eyeliner it's also from them and it has such a beautiful finish and it comes in such a beautiful tip like that so it literally takes your look from uh like 50 to 100 real quick okay <laughs> so let me just blend this out i'm gonna be using i'm using this for the outer shade and then i'm gonna use this it's almost like my color to blend that out and then now for the shimmer i'm gonna be using the gold and this one let me show you how that looks like it's really good and I would recommend if you're getting this palette always make sure you're not using too much because the the shimmer shades are a bit chunky so you want to just pick up a little bit of the product because the pigmentation is major so just pick up a little bit of the product and then add as you move along and then this is what i'm going to be putting in the center part because i know it doesn't look like it but i've done two colors on the lid <laughs> so this is what i've done and this is how it looks like so it's like um it's like a, a champagne color and this is like a lighter um yellow goldish color i know the light isn't really picking it up well but these are the two shades that i'm using i'm going to be using this gold at the beginning and then this uh, in the mid part and then just blend it out with a dark shade so let us do that Okay, so let us get into the foundation, okay? So I already moisturized and primed my face. I use the Nivea Cream Moisturizer. It looks like this. You guys have seen me use it in almost all <laughs> my makeup videos because it sits so well underneath makeup. And then I also use the matte primer underneath my face. So for foundation, you're going to go in with this. This is the LA Girl Pro Matte um, HD Definition Longwear foundation and i am in the shade caramel um that this is assuming that you want to go for a matte formulation but if you want to go for something more dewy more illuminating more hydrating i would recommend going in with the illegal pro coverage longwear illuminating foundation and i think um for reference i am in the shade bronze so i have just put a little bit of the la pro matte and then we're gonna go in with a damp beauty blender not wet just damp and then we're going to just take a little bit of that and then start blending bit by bit okay so the one thing that i want to say when it comes to a foundation is especially when you're dealing with something that is full coverage you want to start slowly by slowly and you can decide to use either a sponge or a brush it's okay 
uh, but I do recommend working in sections. You know, initially, like when we started off makeup, we'll put on a um, makeup video. You, someone puts foundation here, 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 and then they start blending. But now what tends to happen, especially with matte formulations, is your foundation tends to start drying out really quickly. So even by the time you've finished with one section and going to the next, it doesn't really give you that nice... Um, setting or base that you want because already it's already dried down and it's not easy to blend so right now i'm just working in sections slowly by slowly and as you can see it really hides um and it's really full coverage it really hides any imperfections and any dark spots that need to be covered um illegal is one of those brands that is really amazing because um it's not only an original brand drugstore but it's also really affordable so even when you're starting off with starting out with makeup and you're really not sure you know should i go with this should i go with that i would um advise you to start off with you know something that is more affordable look at the formulation see if you like it see what works for you before really investing into you know the more expensive uh foundations but this one will always to be honest remain a staple for me because a eh, like it's literally value for your money always 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 because it's not so expensive and it does the job amazingly so i want to just blend this out all over and as you can see i'm using a damp sponge you as i said earlier you can decide to use a brush but i usually want to just skip that brush step especially especially if i have time because the thing with the brush even when I use the brush, I'll still need to come in with a beauty blender and just smooth everything over. So I've just decided for today, I'm going to go in with my sponge and then just blend everything together. Whenever you're blending your foundation, always make sure to do it slowly by slowly and to really focus on those areas that you want, you know, um, to correct the dark spots or the blemishes or the imperfections and just work section by section so that by the time you finish, you don't need to come back and then like blend out that area again so i'm just pressing it in and i'm using very very light motion i'm not doing this you know i'm just doing it very lightly to make sure that the foundation sits on my skin nicely and that it doesn't budge the whole day and as you can see guys can you already see that matte i don't look oily or greasy or dewy i just look nice and matte which is what you're looking for especially when it comes to your foundation and that flawlessness you don't want to look patchy you know here and patchy there so always try and work section by section bit by bit and then you'll achieve what you want to achieve and so another tip that i want to tell you guys especially when it comes to base and foundation is whenever you're applying a foundation don't apply it all the way to your hairline apply just till close to your hairline because over here you're going to put your contour color so you don't want to also have too much product over here because it, sometimes it does tend to show and the thing with makeup is i love doing less is more sort of looks so whenever wherever doesn't need the product i don't put the product okay so the next thing we're going to be going in with is uh, illegal pro conceal in the shade cool tan let me get let me tell you guys a funny story have you ever seen that meme for um when you go to buy makeup without any makeup done and then the the lady who is selling to you talks to you like you don't know anything about makeup like that has happened to me so many times so i often go to buy um illegal in the shade fall or sometimes i'll buy mahogany like the really dark one and then the, the lady will be like no madam you know that's too dark for you and I'm just sitting there, I'm just, I'm like, it's not for me, it's for a client. Like, I, not everybody doesn't know, like, what exactly they're doing, you know? So, as in, like, stop treating us like we don't know makeup, okay? I beat my face, beat your face, and beat everybody's face in that place, okay? Anyway, so I'm going to go in with the concealer. Mind you, I didn't extend my foundation all the way till under my eye, just because I don't, um, as you can see, I tend to crease right under here. So I tend to avoid putting too much product underneath my eyes. So I'm going to use the shade cool tan. And then before I do anything, I'm just going to blend out that primer so that in case anything has settled in there, I can make sure that it's well blended before I add any other product. And I'm just going to add the cool tan just a little bit right there and right at the edge. I would do like a sharp if I was doing like a, a cut eye, I would do like the concealer over here. But because I'm not really, I want it to look blended and diffused like that. I don't want it to look sharp. You understand what I mean? So 
I'm just gonna apply it right there and then at the edge just a bit and if you do have uh, dark circles or some discoloration you can choose to color correct before your foundation or before your concealer whichever is easier for you and then I'm just gonna drag it all the way on the bridge of my nose and finally over here I think highlighting and contouring is just basically understanding um, the points where the light naturally hits your face or the points where your face naturally has shadows and then just work with, working with that and making sure that you really accentuate that so as that as that is drying down i wanted to dry down just a little bit i'm going to take again from vita farm cosmetics illegal pro conceal in the shade toast this is like one or two it's actually like two shades darker than me let me show you guys how it looks like and if you are a beginner makeup artist guys illegal is really the brand to go with illegal and, and la colors because they have they have a great formulation and they are affordable as well because when you're starting off as a makeup artist you do need to be able to buy a lot of shades initially <sighs> guys my kids keep interrupting me so i'm gonna take my beauty blender and then now just start off with blending the contour because i want the concealer to just sit there for just a little bit so that it can get more coverage but guys remember don't let it sit too much because it will be uh, like really hard to blend and even as you can see like i didn't put the contour right in my hairline i put it like close to my hairline and then i'm blending it i always like to use a contour color that is almost the shade of this color over here just so it can look as natural as possible um but as as i always say like makeup is dependent on you like if you like like that very harsh contour line i mean okay okay that's on you but i personally like um a more natural looking um contour something not too harsh and something that just accentuates the natural shadows of my face that's why you're always told to just go one or two shades darker and lighter just so you don't look like someone else you just look like you but like you know like 2.0 you know what i mean yeah and then for the jaw i'm just gonna blend it out and then push the product downwards just so it blends with my neck and there's no harsh line between the foundation and the contour and my neck but also for the neck i always do avoid using too much product because that could end up looking a little messy and especially when you have like clothes that are till your neck that could <laughs> it could really spoil it because you end up getting makeup a lot of makeup on your clothes as opposed to just having it on your face and it doesn't it doesn't look good it doesn't look good so i'm just blending everything in making sure everything is nice and seamless and then I'm going to take a different part of my beauty blender. There's a reason why I leave this part of the foundation because I'm going to use that to actually blend out the edge between the concealer and the foundation. And I'll show you guys what I mean. So I'm going to take a clean part and then just start blending out in very light motion. And then what you want to do, guys, when, especially when you're doing... Um, cream products is don't blend like don't blend like this t, 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 like blend one pie at one point and then just stay there for a bit make sure it's well blended to your satisfaction before you go to the next part okay what you want to avoid with makeup is coming back and forth and doing the same thing in the same area you want to just make sure you do it the properly the first time so that you you can save on time and avoid going back and forth in the same area so you see i've already blended my concealer right with this side so i'm going to come back with the foundation side and then i'm just going to blend out the edge because what you want is just that flawlessness you don't want to have you can see oh the concealer ends here the foundation ends here the contour starts here ends here you understand you want it you want it to all marry together <laughs> and this is so funny because um in the master class that we did um the last the last weekend this is actually something that we really talked about in terms of makeup is all about blending and just making sure that your blending game is on point so i'm just gonna blend out 
underneath my eye and you guys can see you can see how opaque it looks it, it, it doesn't look like you can't see through the concealer behind it because we gave it just a little bit of time to get a little bit dry and by doing that we increased the the coverage so i'm again blending that out and then taking the foundation side and then blending out the edge i'm not blending out the concealer with the foundation side i'm just blending out the edge of where that concealer meets the foundation so let me do everything else and then i'll come back i'll show you guys how to do powder and let's finish up this look. yeah okay so i went ahead and blended everything together so now i want to just set the under eye and the areas where i have put some concealer with a little bit of loose setting powder and this is the j cut um luxury banana powder and i'm just gonna again use my beauty blender but as i come closer you guys can already see that creasing that has already happened underneath my eyes so you want to make sure that you don't set that crease area okay so again take my beauty blender and then i'm going to just blend everything look up blend everything together make sure there are no crease lines make sure everything is nice and beautiful and then i'm gonna dip into my banana powder tap away the excess or blow away the excess and then i'm just going to just push that powder right underneath my eyes especially that area that creases you want to make sure that you really really get it nicely so that you avoid under eye creasing even later on in the day just gonna push that in i, I don't use too much setting powder and i'm also not a fan of baking i used to bake initially when the trend came out and i was like oh my gosh everybody's baking i gotta bake <laughs> Let me tell you, baking is not for everyone. Um, but I would recommend it, especially if you have oily skin. That's really amazing. Uh, but because already all the products that I used in the formulation are matte-based, I'm not going to bake. I'm just going to set, meaning I'm going to apply the powder and then just wait a little bit and then just dust it off. And as I am waiting for it to just, you know, absorb and be beautiful and marry, I'm taking a legal pro face pro face matte pressed powder it's in the shade true bronze if you want to use me as reference and i'm gonna take a, a fluffy brush a fluffy powder brush and then just tap it in and then just start setting my face i'm setting all the areas that i've not put any of the setting powder just because you want to make sure even those areas are still set because you have used cream products on them and i do prefer using this as opposed to something um flatter and more dense just because i do like my finish to be very light um and not cakey but if you do have a problem with oily skin and you find that you tend to sweat a lot then you want to go in with a more dense brush because it will pack on more product and give you a more a more um full coverage look and also just get into those areas and really manage the oils so i'm setting everywhere don't forget about your ears and your neck just blend everything in and then just all over all the areas where i've not put my setting powder but i am going to go in with this to just dust that off but i want it to just you know set over there just a little bit even over here and over here and then now i'm gonna take the same uh compact powder and then just take, take a little bit of it and then just very gently you want to just swipe away the product okay if you have oily skin guys instead of swiping away what you want to do is just take your beauty blender and then blend everything in until all that powder disappears okay and this is assuming that you've put um a fair amount of powder because the more powder you put the more likely you are to look cakey so just put enough but don't put too much okay i know there's usually like a very thin line between um enough and too much okay so again i'm taking that and the reason why i'm dipping into the powder first before i swipe 
um, or rather sweep away the, the the powder is because I still want there to be a little bit of the color because ideally let me show you what I mean you see this is a this is a setting powder that I used but when I bring it here I want you guys to see how it disappears okay so it doesn't really give me that much of um, a color pop as I would like so I want just that you know lift with with this one on top of that okay but again you want to make sure you don't use too much and where excuse me where you hold your brush is really important so if you want like to just blend out something even in case of eyeshadow you just hold hold your brush towards the end and just blend but um if you want to like be more precise towards a certain area then you hold it closer especially like for example when i'm doing my under eye i'll hold it a bit closer just like so i can have more precision and more control over my my tool so now that everything is blended nice and beautifully i'm gonna go in with illegal but this one is in the shade uh, chestnut i've had it for a while as you guys can see Joy metoka makeup but it's a really beautiful shade in terms of contouring it's in the shade chestnut again illegal and what i'm going to do i'm just going to use the same brush but i'm not going to dip it wholly like this because i don't want to concentrate the product all over the brush so i'm just going to dip it on the side as you guys can see and then always tap away the excess because i want to use it to sculpt my my cheekbones so i'm just using the edge of it where the product is and then just back and forth in round and round motions and you can see i'm holding my brush towards the end just because i want a very nice um seamless blend and not a very harsh line and then with the residue just come blend out my jaw again take some and then just blend it into my forehead like so you can decide to use a smaller brush um, in terms of your contour or an angled brush but i just wanted to show you guys uh, that even with minimal minimal tools or minimal makeup products you can still make your makeup look flawless maybe too quick to make noise na machoke and i'm doing a video <laughs> surely surely mom it's the audacity for me hmm? that's all and that's all period so you guys can see thank you you guys can see um everything looks nice and blended and you can't see a harsh contour line it's just blended i've set the contour without actually having the contour as the main center of attention you understand what i mean so just always make sure everything is nice and blended especially before you go into the next step i'm just gonna take a little bit of that like the tiniest bit and then I'm going to be blending my my nose contour again if you have a smaller brush even better but i just want to show you that even with the same brush you can still make it work okay so we are moving towards the end of the video i'm going to be going in with this um this is the illegal blush collection and it's so pretty it's so so pretty I'm gonna show you guys how it looks like. So it comes in this really um, intense pink, a uh, less intense, and then a brown, and then a highlight shade. This highlight shade, at first I was like, huh, I don't know if that's for me. But then it's not like too much. It's like almost, it's like, it's like a very chilled out highlighter. So I really like that. I do love um, a good cheek moment. So I'm gonna go in with the darkest shade of pink. And then again with my same brush, okay? Today we are not washing brushes, we are not washing a lot of brushes, we are just washing the ones that are necessary, okay? I'm going to take the same brush and then just pack some of that product and then always, especially with blush, make sure to start slowly by slowly as opposed to just having a pink patch and then now having to have to blend that out. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that and then just apply it. And the thing with this blush, it does give you a very subtle kind of blush um, or color. So it's really beautiful, especially when you're going for those natural looks. Look at that. Like it's there, but it's not there. You understand what I mean? Which I really love about blush. So I'm just going to blend that out right above my contour area. And can you guys see the difference between this side and this other side? Hmm? 
Ooh, I think I overdid it. Let me just put some on this side and the rest on that side. And I do like doing it in round and round motions, but very lightly, just so I can have the best blend possible. And we are done with the blush. So I'm gonna set my set my face as the last thing, and I am using <laughs> the Revolution Supreme Matte Finishing Spray. I've used this spray not just on myself but also on clients. I really like it. It does have that matte finish, but it doesn't have like an excessively matte finish. It's it's still comfortable. You can still feel hydrated, but your mat you understand what i mean which i which i really like so i'm just gonna take that shake it a little bit and then from a little bit of a distance i'm gonna set my whole face because i have shimmer i didn't cover my eyes but if you don't have shimmer if you have like just matte colors i would recommend you closing your eyes just because there's a certain patchiness that comes with setting spray on top of matte or shimmer shades and then another tip that i would like to give you guys you see i've already set my whole face but i did it from an angle almost above so underneath my eyes it didn't really get enough product or enough like setting spray so what i like to do after set, setting it all over my face i like to go down so that the mist can come almost underneath my eyes and set that area does that make sense like <laughs> if you set like this and you don't set underneath your eyes sometimes what tends to happen is underneath your eyes it looks really dry and powdery and i don't like that so again take it from down and then just set that area and then i'm gonna go in with a sec second setting spray the reason because um i do like a matte finish but i also like a glowy look and we're gonna achieve the glowiness using this this is the illegal shimmer spray you guys can see inside it has shimmers do you see it has like shimmery shimmeriness <laughs> and i'm just gonna concentrate it right over there and right over there okay and it does come in two colors i think this is the color rose gold but it does come in a slightly whiter more champagne -y, lighter color if that is your preference but i personally prefer this because of my skin tone and then i'll just spray it in that area and then spray it in that area and even on my forehead guys <laughs> I'd like you to note that you shouldn't use this setting spray all over your face. Case and point being, I have used it all over my face and then I end up having like looking glittery or shiny underneath my eyes, which is not really a, a flattering look. So I would recommend putting it in the areas that you need it. That is the outskirts of your face. And sometimes even maybe when you're going to do a photo shoot, maybe like on your neck and you know, like on your hands for, for like that glowy bronzy goddess kind of look but underneath your eyes like don't spray it all over guys i have tried it it don't look good it don't look good okay so just on the outskirts so finally we're gonna go in with the lippy and for the lippy i'm going to be using the illegal lip mousse this is how it looks like and it's in the shade low-key because you know we're trying to be low-key like this is a, a natural low-key look okay and i'm gonna use uh, a davis pencil again just to outline my mouth guys i've been having this thing this whole time and nobody said anything like for real <laughs> that is like so <laughs> crazy okay let me go down and then see on it my extraness much much better uh, so let me just do the brown lippy whenever you're doing your lip liner um, a, a tip is instead of just doing it like this you can do it like this it will give you an easier 
area you'll be able to see it easily as opposed to when it's like this because you don't know if you want to do it here or here or here so do this and then you're able to just see it easily And then I'm gonna go in. I've taken it slightly into my lips just so it doesn't look like it's just a line. So it looks nicely blended. And I'm gonna take my lippy. It doesn't smell like anything. It's just a very neutral smell, which I like, especially for a lot of clients who have sensitive uh, skin or noses. <laughs> and then I'm gonna just blend out the two. Ooh. <laughs> can you guys imagine like people used to walk outside like this like what is this what were you doing with your life huh? i'm just gonna take it and then blend out the two and i, I do like using my hand just to blend out the edge so it doesn't look like there's a visible difference between where where one starts and the other one ends hmm, i really like this color let us just take a minute okay to end the discussion that you don't need eyeliner like eye pencil like look at the difference between this eye and this eye like literally guys do you see that like mm -hmm. hey mm -hmm. hey Mm. Hey. <laughs> like it just really like brings out like that ooh la la ooh la la ooh la ooh la ooh la ooh la la I'm using I'm so excited I love I love like this little step it usually just makes everything look so beautifully put together this is Elegal Kajal Auto Liner Again, from Beauty Farm Cosmetics. Again, as I said, everything that I'm using is from Beauty Farm Cosmetics. And if you are in Nairobi, Kenya, they do deliver countrywide. And even if you are outside Kenya, they, they will deliver. Understand? Um, it glides on so nicely. And... <laughs> brings the look together. Ooh. I'm just using a mirror like that was so random of me I didn't even know that would happen but it may come through and then I'm gonna set that um it the, the thing I like about this formulation is that it does dry down um and it doesn't smudge after it dries down but I always just like to smoke it out and I'm gonna use the same palette that we used and the initial outer color that we used this one and then I'm just gonna smoke that out. Ooh. And I'm not gonna smoke it all the way till my inner corner. I'm gonna smoke it till like three quarter way, just so it can it looks really flattering because I do have small eyes, and you want the illusion of bigger eyes as opposed to closed, like more closed eyes, <laughs> if that makes sense. So I'm just gonna smoke that out. Let me come closer. Do you guys see? Do you guys see how I'm shining? Like, do you guys see them shine? Oh, do you see? Do you do you see it? And we used everything matte, matte primer, matte foundation, matte powder. <laughs> As though this and then matte powder. I'm just gonna blend that in. If 
if you're not making a crazy face and you're doing your eyeliner, you're not doing it right. And that's how Mary had a little lion. I don't know who, who comes up with these things. <laughs> I'm gonna again take my beauty blender and then just make sure that everything is nice and blended together. And because I had already um, set my face, I'm gonna now go in with highlights, but I don't want a very dramatic highlight. I want like a very subtle, like, hey, we're here, but we're not here kind of highlight. Um, and I'm gonna be using the same brush. <laughs> Judge me another day, please. <laughs> so I'm gonna use the same brush, but now I'm gonna use like the other side, okay? Yeti, Nika, Nika, like, see, like this side has more blush, so I'm gonna use this side. No, like it makes a difference. I'm gonna take now the highlight. I'm gonna take very little of it just because again I don't want an overly shouting highlight. Oh I like that. That's it. Like I'm not gonna add any more. You you're ready. Oh do you oh 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 do you see that? Dramatic pause as the sun hits the highlight. <laughs> I'm gonna take it again on this side and guys note when you do use the shimmer spray it does give you a little bit of that highlighty look without any highlight so you also have to make sure that you really don't go so ham on the highlight unless that's what you're going for you know I'm not judging you so much <laughs> but if you want to look like a glazed donut then keep in mind that this will give you some of that so yeah just go slowly by slowly until you are glazed donut perfection <laughs> and then the residue i'm just gonna put it here and here <laughs> i look so good <laughs> i think i actually have somewhere to go today <laughs> otherwise nigga maliza make it to he makeup i'm gonna blend it out because i don't want the highlight on my contour area just like that and again, 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 for the last thing, with my mascara. Where art thou, mascara? Oh, it fell. So for the last thing, I'm gonna take um, my mascara also from them. Um, I've been loving it so much to the point that it rubbed off, okay? Like I've been using it so much, like the Nini, the packaging rubbed off, but this is, I think it was called Double. I don't know double something but i'll look for it and then i'll put it down here so i'm just gonna comb my bottom lashes and i love this because it's a lengthening mascara so it does the job without having without picking up the one does the job without picking up too much product which i love because i really am not into that smudge look oh look at that look at this eye and look at this eye mm? mascara mascara easy i'm just gonna comb through that And a little bit on my actual lashes like so and this look is done period we're looking good we're looking fat we're looking sexy we're looking glowy we're looking mad we're looking scrumptious we're looking divine we're looking amazing we're looking pop <laughs> I don't have any other ones <laughs> But I hope you guys really enjoyed this look. I'm going to go and change and then come back so you guys can see the final look. Mm? 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 <laughs> so I just changed into a white tee and some earrings and that's about it. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I am so glad I have finished this video. Signed your madogis and hands up. Otherwise, you could talk before you didn't have had anything. But thank you so much for watching. And thank you so much to the sponsor of this video, Vita Farm um, Cosmetics and Pharmacy. If you are in Nairobi, Kenya, remember to follow them and to check out a lot of their things. Like they're very affordable and they're actually like really good products. So this is Full Face using Vita Farm Cosmetics. And until the next video, guys, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, all of that. Bye, guys.